and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy Glam and thank you so much for tuning in to another video with me. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video and you won't miss out on anything. Mostly what I do on my channel is fragrance reviews. Here lately, that's mostly what I've been doing is fragrance reviews. Every now and again, I do talk about makeup. I do some makeup tutorials and things like that. But for the most part, I talk about fragrances. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. If you uh, saw the title, then you already know this is a collab video that I'm doing with a lovely lady here on YouTube. Her name is Maria Collette. So I'm going to put her photo um, here in the video and I'm going to put her information right here where you can go and find her on YouTube. So um, we both have done um, hauls here in the last couple of weeks. So, so we got together and decided that we would come up with a video to kind of review our hauls that we've done. So in this video, it's either going to be um, like it, love it, or leave it, okay? So I'm going to be talking about a few fragrances that if you've been watching me over the last maybe two to three weeks, you saw that um, I bought some new fragrances and I did do a, a haul video probably like a week ago. So I decided to pick some fragrances from the hauls that I've done over the last two or three weeks. So again, if you've been following me, you probably have seen me, um, well you have seen me talk about these fragrances. So I'm going to just go ahead and get right into it. The first one I'm, that I'm going to talk about is by Moschino and it is the I Love Love. And so the question is, do I love it? Yes, I do love it. Y'all, it smells exactly like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. The only difference with this fragrance is that to me, it has more of an orangey type note in it and a more sugary note. The light blue can come off kind of um, like a sour lemon almost, but this one does not. This one is very juicy and it's very sweet and it also has the lemon that the light blue has, which is why I really like it because um, I love the sweetness. I don't mind sugary notes in my fragrances. So yeah, I love it. I like it and I'm going to keep it. So. The next one is um, by um, Mugler, and this is the Angel Eau Crociere. Okay, this is the 2020 version. Um, I guess they come out with this type of summertime fragrance every year, something like that, or maybe they just started to do it. I know there's a 2019 version of this fragrance, but the bottle is different. I think it's more of an orange uh, bottle. So this one is like a blue that goes into like purple, pink. So if you're looking for this one, this particular one, you can tell the difference by the color of the bottle and um, ask the sales associate which year this came out. So I bought this one. I pretty much bought these fragrances all around the same time. So I did buy this one at the mall. I bought this one at Macy's. So the reason um, why I love this fragrance is because basically it's a pina colada in a fragrance. This really gives me like tropical vibes, sun beachy, laying out on the beach, laying out by the poolside. You got your pina colada and you're just chilling you know, getting some sun, and you're just relaxing. Basically, this is what this fragrance does for me. It puts me in a very good mood. It makes me feel like summer, like it's summertime, you this know. This one also gives me a coconut vibe, I guess, because it does smell like pina colada, like the drink, but there's no coconut in this one. So, um, I'm not really going to go over the notes, but I will link my video down below if you are interested in purchasing this fragrance and you want to know more about it. I'll leave the link so you can go and watch the video. But the next one I'm going to talk about is one that I got from, where did I get this one from? FragranceNet. This is uh, Club de Nuit's Woman and this is by Armoff. 
reason why I love this fragrance, I don't think, okay, there's one, there's one. You Y'all are probably going to be like, okay, she loves all of them, what's up? There's one that is questionable, I'll talk about that one in a minute. But, I like this one. I, I don't love it per se, I'll say I like it. Yes, okay. I've worn this fragrance all day. All, as a matter of fact, all the fragrances that I'm talking about in this video, I've actually tested them out on my skin. I've worn them and so I can give an honest opinion about how I really feel about them. And I really do like this one. I'm not going to say that I love it, but I do, I'm in strong like with this fragrance, okay? It t totally reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle. So, um, and even smelling it from the bottle, it smells like Coco Mademoiselle. So, I can't not like this fragrance because I like Coco Mademoiselle, but this fragrance has great um, longevity. I think the day I wore it, it gave me at least, at least, seven hours y'all at least seven hours so and i'm surprised uh by the performance and the longevity and i didn't spray too much because i wore it to work and i'm not supposed to wear fragrances to work so i really don't know about the sillage or the projection on it but i would imagine if i had a went in with the fragrance y'all know i i'm one of them type of people I'm pretty sure an awesome sillage, but I really do like this fragrance. So this is a like for me. Wow. Now this one is also from, is this one, which, who is this from? Okay, so this one is from Lalique, okay, and this is satin. I don't know if it's pronounced satin or satin, but I'm just going to say satin. Um, I love this bottle. This bottle Every time I look at it, I just think of old school Hollywood glamour. You know, something that my grandmother would have on her vanity or, you know, it just reminds me of an old Hollywood movie. Now, and let's get into the fragrance, okay? I've actually given this fragrance two chances, okay? Um, now, this is not a love for me. Um, this is not necessarily a like for me. Okay, I'm lying. I like it. Now, would I leave it? Yes, I would leave this fragrance. Now, the reason why I would leave it is because, um, now, I don't want, I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. The, the smell is beautiful. This is a powdery floral fragrance. Um, and I'm trying to see if it, I feel like it reminds me of something that I have smelled before. I just can't put my hands on it. But the reason why I would not repurchase this fragrance is because of the longevity and the sillage. This fragrance to me is a total skin scent, okay? So if you're the type of person that you like fragrances but you don't want to, you don't want the fragrance to overpower you, then this is going to be a good one for you. This is a very soft, subtle, powdery um, fragrance. And I feel like it has a little bit of sweetness to it. I did spray it on same day, and the performance was not all that. The um, projection was not all that. So I knew I was going to do this video, and... I sprayed it on um, a couple of nights ago and I wore it to bed. Well, before I even fell asleep, I could barely smell the fragrance anymore. The fragrance, like I had to literally put my nose up to my arm to smell the fragrance. And so that is why I would not purchase this fragrance again. Wow. I, so I don't feel like I necessarily wasted my money on it. but. I guess um, I was expecting more from this fragrance and it doesn't, it didn't live up to my expectations, okay? So, yeah, I would leave it. I don't have many skin scents, so this is going to be a total skin scent for me. So, the next two, um, I totally love. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on out there for y'all. I love this fragrance. This is Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez, and this is a white 
floral powdery musky scent okay if you've been following me for a period of time you know i'm not a big floral uh bouquet girl you know that's kind of like one of the turnoffs for me in a fragrance is something that you know at initial spray i get hit with a big bouquet of florals jasmines magnolias you know uh i just my sinuses go crazy i get a headache um i start sneezing so it's not like you know that's one of the reasons why i don't go for them the dry down just left me floating on you know, cloud nine i was like yes it didn't fail me it didn't let me down because i really didn't know what to expect this was a total blind buy for me um I was just going on reviews from other YouTubers, but and I was praying that it didn't trigger my sinuses, and it didn't. And I love the dry down. I love when the musk kicks in and the powdery notes kick in. It just, I love it. I love it. This to me, I would wear this if I'm going to brunch and I'm just kind of dressing low key t-shirt jeans some heels you know i'm not doing the most but i want to come real hard with my fragrance so go for it. i just really really love this fragrance Ugh, i love it so much um the next one y'all was very tricky for me this is a very tricky fragrance if you watched my last haul video i was on the fence when i first sprayed this uh, and i'm gonna be honest I'm not in love. I wasn't in love with it at initial spray. I'm still not in love with it at initial spray. And the only reason why I love this fragrance is because of the dry down. The dry down, the fragrance and the dry down just performed so magically. It was like magic on my skin. Like I couldn't stop smelling it. If we watched the video, you saw me, I kept doing this and I made reference to this fragrance and this is by Nina Ritchie okay this is the um, I think this is La Ecstasy um, by Nina Ritchie and this is my first Nina Ritchie fragrance that I have in my collection I don't own any other one so of course um, I watched a lot of reviews on this fragrance before I purchased it so y'all know my expectations was high when I got it, I was like, girl, don't let me down. You know, a lot of people like you, so I got to like you too, so come with it. Like, come with it. When I first sprayed it, I was like, mm. I, I was going to say, I don't like it. But, oh my God, it won me over in the dry down. This is a floral, but it, it's, it's not dark, but it's very sexy, very mysterious. Um, I do feel like it kind of dries down to a powdery note almost, but it it holds its it holds the mysterious mysterioso mysterious. It holds its mysteriousness. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It holds it even throughout the dry down. It just turns into the most one of the most sexiest fragrances that I have in my collection and. I really enjoy this. This would be a awesome date night fragrance. It would be a crowd pleaser. I can't wait to wear this. Um, of course, I'm going to have to pick a special occasion. Date night, dinner, whatever. But yeah, this is just... Um, I feel like it does give me uh, flower bomb vibes also. But it's not as sweet as Flower Bomb. To me, Flower Bomb is a little sweet. But for some reason, when I smell this, when I put this to my nose, the first thought that comes to mind is Flower Bomb. But it totally doesn't smell like it. But I just get that vibe. But this is a really beautiful fragrance. Really beautiful. So if you're thinking about getting this one, I would go ahead. I would definitely recommend it. This was a blind buy for me as well. I would definitely recommend this one. Um, once you spray it again, I don't know, you you may have the same reaction that I had when I sprayed it. And I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I was kind of disappointed at initial spray. But once I let it dry down, 
love it okay I love it so I have how many loves do I have I have four loves one like and one leave it okay don't forget when you're done watching this video go ahead and run over to Maria Colette's page here on YouTube again I'll link it right here right here um, and I will also put a link to her channel down in my description bar so you can go ahead and click on it and it'll take you right to her uh, video so yeah go ahead over there and show her some love she's a really sweet lady with a cool personality and I love watching her fragrance reviews so go show her some love okay for all you gotta do is just reach over and just click it just like that and then go ahead and hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video I hope you guys are staying safe out here comment below let me know if you have any of these fragrances and let me know what you think about them I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think about these fragrances um, but yes be safe I will see you guys in the next video Mwah.